next, a matchup in the UFC lightweight division between Michael Maverick Chiesa and Anthony Showtime Pettis. Hey guys, my name is Connor from UK Game Bureau, and welcome to our EA Sports UFC 3 simulation of Michael Chiesa versus Anthony Pettis. So Anthony Pettis is coming into this fight with a record of 20 wins and 7 losses, with his most recent fight being a TKO loss to Dustin Poirier. Michael Chiesa, on the other hand, is coming into this fight with a record of 14 wins, 3 losses, with his last fight being a loss to Kevin Lee. So as you can tell, both of these guys are coming off of losses in their last fights, and both looking to try and get back in that win column. So first of all, we're going to take a more in-depth look at Anthony Pettis. Now Anthony Pettis, back in 2013, he won the title from Benson Henderson, he defended against Gilbert Melendez, and everyone thought he was going to be the next big thing, he was on the cover of Wheaties, and ever since then, it's not gone too well for him. After he defended the title against Gilbert Melendez, he then lost the title against Rafael Dos Anjos, he then lost the decision to Eddie Alvarez, and he then also lost the decision to Edson Barboza. From there, he had a brief stint of featherweight, he fought Charles Oliveira and won a came from behind fight, and actually won by submission by a guillotine choke. He then fought for an interim featherweight championship against Max Holloway and lost by TKO. He then came back to fight at lightweight again, won a decision over Jim Miller, and obviously in his most recent fight, as we just mentioned, he lost by TKO to Dustin Poirier. So what we can see here is he's been very up and down, he's been a bit inconsistent, and in a lot of those fights, with the exception of the Holloway fight and the Barboza fight, he was controlled on the ground, his takedown defence really hasn't improved, even with all his wrestling training, and I think that could be a big issue coming into this fight. So speaking on his opponent, Michael Chiesa, before he lost to Kevin Lee, he was actually on a three-fight win streak over Mitch Clark, Jim Miller and Benil Dariush, with two of those wins actually coming by rear naked choke. Now whenever you mention Michael Chiesa, you need to bring up his rear naked chokes. Of his 14 fights, he has won eight of them by rear naked choke. Now Chiesa is known pretty much as a grappler. You know exactly what he wants to do. He wants to take you down, he wants to grapple with you, he wants to tie you out. He's going to try and take you back, get his hooks in and start looking for that neck. He sort of reminds me to Habib, not in how they fight, but in the sense of everyone knows what they're going to try and do. With Chiesa, he's going to try and take you back. With Habib, he's just going to take you down and ground a pound. Everyone knows what you're going to do, but they find it very hard to stop it. Because Chiesa is very good at this one particular technique in regards to the rear naked choke. And he can tap out black belts such as Benil Dariush or Jim Miller. And he can just get hold of their necks and choke them out easily, even though they are high-level competitors themselves. Now, Kiesa's striking isn't as bad as people like to make out. He's a very long guy. I believe he's over six foot. And he fights well behind his range. He uses his jab a lot. And I believe he actually knocked down Jorge Masvidal back in 2013 before he actually lost the fight to him. But he did very well on the feet against someone as good as Jorge Masvidal. For me, the first round is going to determine this fight. If Kiesa can get hold of Pettis, he can take it down. He can control him on the ground then I think he'll either win a decision or eventually wear him down and get a submission. If he can't take him down, I feel like Pettis will eventually have his way on the feet. Chiesa's good on the feet, but he's not as good as Pettis. For me in this fight, Chiesa really shouldn't waste any time on the feet with Pettis. He's shown that he doesn't have great takedown defence, so in my mind Chiesa should just walk across the octagon, just try and get hold of him, get him up against the cage if he can, and just do anything he can to drag it to the ground, and then he's in his world. He can just take his time, land some ground and pound, go for submissions, and try and choke him out. Chiesa is very heavy on his lead foot, so if I were Pettis, I'd be trying to kick that out, just to get him thinking about it, and it'll also slow him down and make those takedowns harder for him to get. So, prediction time? It's going to be a good fight on the feet. I feel like Chiesa can actually do some damage, even though Pettis will eventually get the better of him. When it comes to the grappling, even though Pettis does have some good submissions on his back, I don't really see him having anything for Michael Chiesa. In my mind, Pettis doesn't have a takedown defence to be able to keep Chiesa off him. I think Chiesa's going to be able to completely dominate him in the grappling and he'll be able to survive in the stand-up enough to get the takedown. I'm going to go with a Michael Chiesa rear naked choke win in the second round. So on our EA Sports UFC 3 prediction of Michael Chiesa versus Anthony Pettis, we had an Anthony Pettis triangle win in the first round at 3 minutes and 55 seconds. And if you're planning on watching this fight, let us know in the comments down below, either on YouTube, Facebook or Twitter, and let us know your prediction, and we can see if anyone gets it right after the fight. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below, and as always, to see more videos coming soon, please subscribe to the channel.